In scanning mode, mostly when scanning at lower magnifications or over a large area of the specimen, the electron beam can stray off of the optical axis. You can see this in the example I'm showing here. As I move the picker tool, the direct beam marked by the ROI on the diffraction image moves around. The strength of this shift depends on the microscope model and the magnification. Most new microscopes include optics to correct this position-dependent shift on the fly. On both Joel and Thermo systems, the correction is called D-Scan. D-Scan artifacts can also be removed from 4D stem data post-acquisition using digital micrograph. Start by using the picker tool to extract a diffraction pattern from the 4D stem data. Now use the rectangular ROI tool to draw a box around the OOO diffraction disk. The extracted diffraction pattern will be used as a reference for a drift measurement and alignment by cross correlation. So make sure you have high signal and the diffraction pattern is typical and representative of the data set as a whole. If necessary, sum over multiple pixels to improve the signal to noise ratio. Make sure the unscattered beam stays in the ROI over the whole data set by moving the picker ROI around to the four corners of the 4D data set. Adjust the ROI size if necessary. Next, go to the SI menu and click on Align SI by Peak. The selected subregion is cross correlated with each individual diffraction pattern in the data set. The software outputs a map of the cross correlations and the measured peak shifts in X and Y. Examine these maps. If you are happy with the measurements, apply the correction and the software will create a new aligned data set. Use the picker tool on the aligned data set to confirm that the peak has been successfully aligned. If the Alt key is held down while clicking on Align SI by Peak, the software will open a window allowing the minimum cross correlation coefficient to be specified. The default value is 0.5. Pixels with cross correlation values below this selection will be shown in red in the cross correlation results map. Finally, if there is insufficient memory available to create an aligned dataset after using Align SI by Peak, the software tells us and asks if we wish to perform the alignment in place. Note if you choose to go ahead, this operation can't be undone. This is not recommended for raw data or unsaved data.